So today we're going to be taking a look at how we can edit the provided food truck and customize it into your own unique food truck look and feel. If you take a look at the layers panel, we have the original white food truck. If I hide layer two, you can see the white version. If you plan to use that, that's absolutely fine. But it's a matter of how you're going to decorate that makes it stand out. You're also provided with layer two, which is a gray overlay. So if I hide out layer one, you can see it covers over in the tire bus. It's just a matter of modifying the saturation to get the color that you're looking for. It's set to gray so you can adjust and find the tone that you want. So with layer two selected, I'm going to go up to image adjustments, hue and saturation. And with the hue and saturation, I'm going to look to first click on colorize. Colorize will allow me to set the default and adjust my saturation. And it's going to pick out a standard color. And you can see it starts out as red. But if I want to change the hue, pick out a blue tone, yellow tone, see green, and get over to the light blue. Or I can go over to the other side, get more of a pink or magenta. You have purples, the more royal blue. Or you can adjust the lightness and darkness to get a darker tone or a lighter tone. You don't want to adjust the lightness too much or else you're going to start to lose details on the bus. But you can get it light enough to make it something that can still be pretty interesting, pretty nice and sleek, and still stand out. The big thing about the food truck is that we make these something that would catch your attention on the streets. So I'm going to adjust my settings back to zero. For myself, I'm going to be using more of a standard red color for my design. And I can also look to do a combination of pieces if I feel that it's going to help me strengthen the overall design. So what I mean by that, once I'm satisfied with the hue and saturation, I can click OK. And if I decided to, I'm going to duplicate this layer just so I have it. I'm going to hide out the original layer too. But if I wanted to give this a white background or have this go from half red to half white, I could look to cut out a certain section. Or I could look to cut out certain features to it. So if I wanted to do a ray of light streaking across the design, I'm going to go back and forth with the polygonal lasso tool. I'm just going to stick to the side of the bus so I don't actually interfere with the front or top. But just trolling this out with the polygon lasso tool, I can look to, again, go up to image adjustments, hue and saturation. I can reset this color. And you see that we turned it back to gray. I could adjust this over and then modify my hue to get a yellow tone. So if I wanted to see this, can deselect, control D. Then we get an interesting streak of a sun beams going across the side of the truck. Or if I wanted to simply cut this out because I have the white truck behind it, I can simply hit backspace. And then again, I have that variation going on within the design. It still maintains the overall structure of the truck. Or I can look to simply cut out part of it. So if I wanted to take out the front half of this truck, and again, I'm just drawing over on the edge, getting the side without selecting out the entire front. And I'll include the bumper just for myself. But for this right half of the truck, I could again hit backspace and now I have 
a half white half red truck creating again some a little bit more interest if I wanted to bring that to the back as well I could cut out the back portion and again I get that half white half red and I'm trying to customize this design and make it my own But for this design, I'm going to look to keep it pretty simple. Overall, it's going to be red, but I'm also going to incorporate a couple little features of white just to make it a little bit more interesting, stand out a little. And then I want to start thinking about how I'm going to implement a couple of designs that I have, whether it's the main logo or looking to put in different wording to help sell or market the, the a truck. I've already created a separate layer that has my logo and has different variations of the logo. I can look to pull these over and bring it into my food truck document. So I'm going to start out by taking in the giant flame or the cup and the smoke rising off of the hot chocolate or however I want to visualize it with the icon used within the logo design. So I can click and drag, bringing it over to the food truck edit and drop it on. I can see that it's over in the top right here. Make sure that you only have that specific layer selected so then you can move that. So if I wanted to start out by looking to implement this, I could scale this down. I go up to Edit, Transform, Scale. Make sure to hold Shift if you want to maintain proportions. And even though it's running off the truck, I can look to take out the outside edges Cut this off so it's not interfering or it's not extending off the design that you can't have. You can test out the different blend modes within the layers panel, see if they do help to blend in better to the truck. Just a matter of seeing what works. I want to do more of a faded look. You can see how it's kind of creating a highlight of red over top. But I can test out different variations, see which one works, what one doesn't, to figure out what one's going to be the best overall. And you can use certain elements to be watermarks or just graphics that help really make the food truck stand out a little bit stronger. So if I wanted to use the overlay, I could still do my main logo and bring it in together as one, bringing in the title of the company as well. I'm going to take off auto select because I don't see the DD's logo. And I can click and drag it and you see that it is there. It's just a matter of making sure you pay attention to the layer, the layers panel. So again, I can go to edit, transform, and scale it down, figure it out. Remember, hold shift if you want to maintain proportions. I can also look to wrap this better on the truck i can go up to edit transform and distort with the distort, i can grab the bottom pull it down to fit better to the design or the angle that the truck is showing
So even though I do have that icon in the back, I'm using it more as a graphic and I can still see the main logo over on this side. If I wanted to bring in some wording, I want to make sure that I put the auto, uh, auto select back on and I can pull it up to the food truck and drop it on. Again, make sure that you select out the correct layer, turning off auto select so I can pull down the text. Then you can see I'm trying to put in devilishly delicious down the white border on the bottom. So I'm going to have to go back to edit transform and scale or go edit transform and distort so I can get the perspective correct. Fitting it along the white border. Do your best to try getting the correct perspective. You can always adjust. You can consider also putting in some visual imagery. So actual photos, images. So if I have a cup of hot chocolate, I've cut this out already from the background variation. Then again, looking to scale it fit better to the design. I can hold shift to maintain proportions. Or go edit transform and distort fit the fit the perspective correctly. You want to draw the consumer to the truck. So how can you do that? Visuals definitely help. Maybe incorporate the menu in some way. Another visual image. I cut it out already. Think about what you have on your menu. How can you incorporate into the design? I want to make this appear as appetizing as possible so that people want, want to get these items. So again, I may have to turn off my auto select, click and drag to get the drinks and dessert title. And then I can look to again, Work with the distortment, fit it better to the shape and layout of the truck. So you can always add in more. If I feel like I want to add in other elements, I can look to tie in a couple other features. Again, bringing the flame possibly into my design or the icon. It's not meant to be a flame, it's meant to be a pitchfork. But again, make sure auto select is on so you can select the layer or just click on the correct layer. I can play with their perspective. It doesn't necessarily have to particularly represent a certain feature, 
but again, just trying to use the icon as a graphic within the design for this. I can again do that overlay. Maybe drop the perspective is too strong. And then cut out the rest of it that I do not need. Make adjustments as you go, be flexible. You wanna come up with something that's going to look stylish for you and that you're satisfied with in the end. So I'm gonna make sure to save this as a Photoshop file and then save it as a PNG and then I can place this into my presentation to display what it would look like on our truck. 